Okay, well, Happy New Year, eh? And uh, what else? Uh, I had the last 12 days off. I have to go back to work tomorrow. That sucks. Let's turn this up a little. Okay. That sucks. And uh, in my time off, I've been checking out some stuff. Uh, first of all, before I get into what I'm going to talk about, I want to give a heads up on some pretty cool videos. Uh, one is from New Day's Old Ways, talking about juicing cannabis for the health, you know, re reducing uh, cancer, tumors, whatever. Juicing it, juicing the leaves, and not heating it up and not smoking it, just juicing it. So that's very interesting. Hopefully we can get... Uh, you know, get around all these federal uh, boogeymen and and get some get some real therapy going on as far as cancer instead of the crap we got going. Uh, so that's one. I'll put that in the description box. And there was another one. Uh, uh, Fixed by Doc did a video or uh, reposted a video about uh, the vegan diet and how it's not good for you. It's interesting. Uh, I'm not a vegan, but it's good to know all the sides on these things. <clears throat> so I like that video. I'll put that in there in the description box. I put it in my likes, but you never know if you, people are going to get to see these things or not. So I want to get that out of the way before I talk about the weirdness <laughs> that I've been looking into. Oh. <clears throat> One of the things I was looking into was, uh, I don't know how I got into this, but people have been talking about Saturn and, you know, the symbolism that you see in uh, corporations. They get the rings and uh, this Saturn worship and there's a death cult, Saturn death cult and stuff. That's pretty, I was wondering what the heck's going on there. And so I looked into some of that. And uh, Jay Widener, uh, I believe, talks about that. And uh, you can actually see there's some of it right there, some of the symbolism that they use. There's, there's Saturn with the rings and, you know, orbit, whatever. That's, that's for my cat. She sits up there. And uh, I can play with her through this hole here. Yeah, you want to go up? She might go up there. And so Jay Widener or Widener talks a lot about it. And there's a couple other guys uh, who talk about the Archons. And but I think if you start with Widener, if you want to check this stuff out, I would start with him. Some of them are kind of lame out there. Uh, so I'm kind of limiting it to. Uh, who I think is decent. So Jay Widener on the uh, on the Archons and the Saturn thing. Hey, little kid. And the Archon, uh, Archons transitions into uh, you know uh, fallen angels and giants and stuff like that because they're living under the earth. That's the whole idea. Is that these Archons are down down below. <clears throat> And uh, so now we're talking about, you know, fallen angels, so, and uh, the Nephilim and all that. And uh, so there's a guy uh, who talks about that stuff, seems pretty good to me. Like I said, I've gone through some, I've had some days off here and I've been checking these things out. So I'm going to give you what I think is decent. Uh, Dr. Michael Heiser does some stuff on uh, fallen angels. He does, you know, he's all about, uh, you know, different languages, you know, he goes into the meanings of the words and all that stuff. And so he talks, he's got, he's all over YouTube. You can't miss him if you want to check it out. 
so he's pretty decent. And uh, what else? Yeah. Okay. So, so I don't, you know, I don't necessarily believe anything like uh, Heiser is saying that uh, the Archons are the fallen angels, and uh, Widener is saying that that they're aliens that just live under the that that are terrestrial I think I think that's what you're saying that they live here so either way to me it doesn't really make any difference <laughs> uh, whether they're angels or demons or aliens uh, it doesn't matter to me which it is there she goes I'm gonna get you. Are you gonna get me? Anyways, but uh, because either way, that leads you into you know as you're looking into this, that leads you into what's going on underground, right? And that leads you back into deep underground military bases. Uh, and what the heck are we doing down there? You know? Ow. Ow. Uh, what are we doing down there? That's what I want to know. And uh, so that leads you to Richard Sauter. I'm just going to put these names up here real quick. And uh, Richard Sauter's on the bottom. He talks about the deep underground military bases. Military bases, but I, I think military is the the good lead in to a reason why you know you've got these mil these uh, underground bases. I mean, if uh, if all of a sudden you're a construction worker or, or a truck driver or whatever, and you're delivering stuff into an underground facility, or you know, you need to understand. You're like, what's going on? You know, oh, it's a military operation. Okay, well there you go. If it was private, you'd be like, what the hell? Who are you people? You know, we're so and so corporation, and we we like to be underground. <laughs> you know, I think the military angle is uh, the excuse to be underground. Like we had the whole Cold War, supposedly, and if you follow my logic. You know, my reasoning lately is that we were never going to have a nuclear war. And that makes me think that, you know, what better reason to have a nuclear, you know, underground bunkers except nuclear war, you know. So they had this big fancy fake Cold War, in my opinion. And all around the world they're digging uh, bunkers under the ground, or we'll call them bunkers, but I mean, we're talking about whole underground civilization basically we don't know what's going on down there you know there's black budgets as far as the eye can see they can do literally anything you don't know what they're doing and the, the banks are laundering drug money and that's a fact you know so there's just money floating around every, everywhere and I'm kinda thinking it's not all going to just make people rich I think, you know, this world is so shitty, I don't think it's, oh, it's just shitty because people are greedy. No, there's something else going on. And maybe underground is the something else. And I don't know what that is, you know. But whatever it is, it's a secret. And to me, secrets are bad. You can't just tell me what's going on? No? Why not? Because it's bad? Yeah, okay. You're doing some weird things under there. And whether you're doing them with aliens or doing them by yourself, you know, genetic manipulation or whatever you're doing, to me that's bad. And just another reason to stop these maniacs, in my opinion. You know. Yeah, oh, and uh, Richard Sauter, I kind of like him because he kind of bitch slapped... Uh, the radio host who was asking him stupid questions about, you know, well, what about Obama? And, and then some, Richard's like, hey, let's not talk about Obama. These presidents are all puppets. Come on. 
let's get over that. Okay, so he shut that down good, and I like that. And he mentioned this whole the bank bailout thing also, you know, <clears throat> and the topic is underground bunkers and how much they cost, billions of dollars, you know. Where are you getting the money for that? I mean, $85 billion a month flowing to the banks. Well, these banks are all involved with the shenanigans, you know, so who knows where this money really goes. I'm saying it just doesn't sit on books. You know, money gets used, man. It either goes to wealthy people so that they can buy something with it that they can use, you know, like property or, you know, some type of value to hold. They don't just sit on money. I know we're being told that corporations are sitting on trillions of dollars. Well, I don't know. I'm sure there's trillions of dollars getting spent somewhere. And it may be paying people to haul shit in and out of these bunkers or drill bunkers or another thing about you know underground what they could do is they could have a whole civilization under there who doesn't even know that we exist up here how hard would that be I mean talk about mind manipulation they've been doing this since the 60s you know they they wipe your brain you know, give you a new brain <laughs> as far as memories and stuff. And, well, why do we live underground? I don't know why they're going to, what kind of story they're going to feed these people. But, I mean, if you've always lived, you know, what about all the people who have been abducted or, you know, or just kidnapped? You know, or, you know, or even uh, now we have uh, test tube babies. What about all these embryos? Oh, yeah, we threw those ones out you didn't use. Yeah, we threw them out. Okay, sure. <laughs> How do I know you didn't take them down into a bunker and now there's hundreds of, you know, Jeffrey Palmers or whatever. I don't know, make up a name. You know, you got, you got all these eggs in a bank. You got all this, you know, you got sperm all over the place. <laughs> you know, the damn college kids. Uh, how hard would it be to make a civilization underground or, you know, you know, do some experimenting and, you know, get six-headed college student, you know. <laughs> this will, literally, there could be cities underground right now living off of our productivity. And <clears throat> maybe they're becoming sustainable under there, you know. I would, you know, if you're going to become sustainable, you would go to the ocean, you know, burrow under the ocean, then you've got some habitat you could, uh, you know, cull from, like, you need, you need oxygen, right? Water has oxygen, done. They, there could be Stargate technology, for all I know, under there, you know? And they can, you know, for, you know, it could be like uh, the canteen from Star Wars, you know, down there, with lots of aliens. They come in, it's like an airport or whatever, they come in and... Bunch of aliens and they drink human cocktails or whatever they do. So, anything's possible. One reason that I've given in the past for these underground bases is uh, the possibility of coming Ice Age, you know. That's like, you know, that's, that's a decent reason. But uh, it really doesn't explain too much why we're so twisted and we're all into this you know everybody becoming part computer or whatever you know the mechanization of humans you know becoming cyborgs and all that bullshit we can't really explain too much of that so I think something else is going on and uh, Ice Age as far as the Ice Age goes I think what we've been doing uh, in this in the last century is forestalling an ice age probably they you know they're still packing packing their underground uh, facilities with whatever they're packing it with I don't know. <laughs> beef jerky whatever uh, still packing it and uh, you know keep pushing pushing back the ice age with chemtrails or uh, you know, 
I think personally that uh, maybe they even the reason we're even using petrol, uh, uh, you know, petrochemicals and uh, you know, burning fossil fuels, whatever you want to call those, is partly to keep this to keep the planet warm, and then and then at the end they flip it and say you were you're bad for <laughs> you're bad for using you're bad for burning oil and coal and breathing. Uh, so they can use it to manipulate us, you know. You gotta pay carbon tax now or whatever, some crap. And maybe the uh you know, and maybe all the uh test bombs of the uh the A bombs and stuff in the Pacific and wherever was to uh melt the polar ice caps in the in the northern hemisphere. And get at more oil. Uh to burn that oil to I don't know. I think, you know, when there's an ice age, they'll be fine. <laughs> if, there, if there ever comes an ice age, probably not in my lifetime. So there's that. Uh, I do have that uh, backup water system up. Uh, but I haven't filled it up yet. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that soon. But I'm going back to work tomorrow on... Ah, these 12 hour days are killers. I don't really like it. I don't like it. Uh, I can't wait till summer. I really don't want to do another year or two or whatever. It's just, I just, I don't have any interest in this. I'm laughing, but I don't have any interest in this existence. I really don't. As of yet. You know, I'm still hoping. I'm still hoping something will come along and you feel better about things or something. I don't know. I don't want to bum you out. Oh well. If I think anything else, I'll uh, I'll let you know. Okay. Whatever, white people. You gonna check it out? Hey, there you go. There you go. Check it out. Just wave to the people. Yeah.